Hey guys, Jillian here with another installment of Tip Tuesday. This week I'm answering some questions that have come up on my Facebook page. So one of the questions that came up was what was really the difference between refined and unrefined? So one of the ways I like to explain this, and I want to preface this by saying I am not a dietitian, I am not a nutritionist, but I am someone who has a degree in kinesiology and I've had much, quite a bit of coursework in nutrition. So I'm just giving you the nuts and bolts of the basics of what that means. Um, so what that means is, essentially you can think of it as processed versus unprocessed. As it relates to a grain is the easiest way to kind of wrap your head around it. So in its natural state, how it's grown, a grain has a middle section, which is your endosperm. That's kind of like the white starchy stuff you can think of. And then there's got the the germ, which is kind of where, kind of think about like the yolk of an egg. That's where a lot of the nutrients lie. And then the outer core, outer, outer, outer shell is the bran, which most people can relate to that. That's the outer fibrous part of the grain. And so what happens in the refining process or in the milling process is that the outer shell, the bran is removed as is the germ. So a lot of the good healthy, good quality nutrients of the, the grain have actually been removed in the process of milling, in the process of refining the grain. What does that mean for you? It means you're missing out on that good fiber. You're missing out a lot of the vitamins that are contained within the germ and the essential fatty acids. So essentially you're kind of missing out on some of the goodness of the food by having it be more processed. And this can relate also to kind of glycemic index and all those things. As it relates to sugars, you can explain it's the same thing. Basically, it's the more processed the food is, the, 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 the more likely it is to have less, more of the nutrients removed. So you want to be having as many nutrient dense foods in your, in your body as possible. Um, another way I think I like to talk about when I talk about refined and unrefined is how that relates to sugars. We get a little caught up just because a sugar is natural that all of a sudden we can kind of like ladle it on our food. So, you know, just because I'm using honey, isn't that okay? And I would say, yeah, for sure. I think using honey as a replacement for refined sugar absolutely a better choice but we still need to remember that even if it's fructose which comes from sh from fruit fruit based sugars it's still sugar in our body and it's still going to generate a spike in our blood sugar and we and we need to be kind of accountable to that and responsible about the the choices we're making there so kind of rambled on a little bit there, but that's kind of the base core difference between refined and unrefined. As much as possible, we wanna be choosing those unrefined, less processed foods in our diets to get the most nutrient value out of our foods. All right, hope that was helpful. Have a great day.